there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. For our 88th episode, I thought I would give everyone a treat, a new intro. What did you think? Comment below. Previously mentioned a few weeks ago that we'd been married for 17 years and a few people had said, congratulations. Well, I'd kind of done it to subconsciously kind of go like this to Nick to say, don't forget, don't forget. Not that you would forget, of course. Um, so thanks to anyone who did say happy anniversary. This week was our actual 17th wedding anniversary. We're still married. We've not killed one another. We tolerate one another quite well. We're doing all right. So we had a day out. Normally, we'd celebrate more in style or go away somewhere, but with flora in season, we're pretty much tied to the house at the moment. We had a lovely day out. We had English food on the afternoon and French food in the evening. Here's a couple of snippets from our day out. Again, he's broke the seal. It's his own fault. Well, I'm at the Jeet, and uh, well, the other day I just spent a bit of time just going around pointing between all the stones on the window sills. And whilst I was doing that, I've noticed particularly here, for example, um, a couple of patches that I just need to put a tiny little bit more render on the wall just to finish it off nicely. So I'm gonna get on with that today. I'm gonna get on with that quickly before the sun comes round and makes it too hot to work. So yeah, best crack on. Well, that's a couple of small but important bits of patching up I've done there. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but it does look a lot better than it did before I started. I managed to get it all done before the sun came round here. Uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. So, uh, right, go and do something else now. 
So the other thing I'm going to do today is just finish off this doorway. Um, it needs just a surface or top coat put on it and I've changed back to the sand that we used for here. Um, I think the colour, I don't want to paint it just now so I think the colour will look better um, until we get the rest of the wall done. So yeah, made up a mix and get it on the wall. It's easy to get it on the wall without the sprayer. Yeah, that is a good tool. Um, but I've got some stuff on the wall there. Good, well, that's a job done. Good morning girls, how are we today? Oh, oh very good. So obviously come to see the hens this morning. Um, I've got a little treat for them lined up. Um, a new drinking fountain. We have currently a fairly standard water feeder, but somehow they seem to empty that within a day. So I do have another option, which is that really old washing up bowl full of water that, well, things end up in there. Sometimes they stand on it and tip it up, which means they can actually have no water left. So I need to get a better solution. And luckily, I found one. So a little advertising video that appeared on Facebook, probably the only one ever that showed me anything I actually want. It's for these. Um, it's a little automatic drinker things that you put to a large container and as they drink it, it refills and then shuts off. Simples. So, uh, well, I've uh, <clears throat> found this old water uh, container. Yeah, it used to have paraffin in it, but uh, I've washed it and it doesn't smell anymore, so it should be okay. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can fit any of these little drinker things to it and if it works so I thought I had a plan and that's, I would fit it to this. I can't seem to get my hand inside to tighten up the nut on the back of it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to cut a handhold. Right, well I'm going to go and get some water and uh, see if it works. Look, look, go on, 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 go on. Oh, look at that. Now you buy things on the internet, you take a gamble, don't you? I've not seen these in the shops. Genius! Absolute genius! Look at it! It's wonderful! 
Look, they shut off and the water level's now up there somewhere. Excellent. Excellent. Right, let's see if the hens like it. And I think that little corner over there will be perfect for it. Come on in girls, drink time. Oh. Come on, have a drink. Come on, who's going to be the first? Well, they don't seem quite as enthralled about it as I do, but uh, I'm sure they'll work it out. We'll pop back later and, and see. And so, some of them have got other things to be doing at the moment. You lay me an egg. Worked it out. Well done, girl. Of course, they have a little audience, don't they? I know it's you, but you're doing well. Merlot, do not wee up that pool filter. Good morning, and what a lovely day. And uh, would it be lovely to be able to sit down out here all day and have a dip in the pool. <clears throat> anyway, instead of that, I've got some work to do. So, over that side of the garden, I built that wall, put soil in that side, gravel in this side. I've got to do the same kind of thing over here now. First job is going to get rid of all those nettles, get rid of that sort of hen shade structure, and then I need to build a wall along here, get the soil one side, get the gravel this side, there we go, simple. Well, there we go. Um, got to finish a little bit there. Got to work out exactly how to finish it up that end. But the majority of this wall is now built. One little mishap when I cut the not 45 degree angles. Anyway, you'd hardly know, would you? What a wonderful day to come and paint a sheet. My husband has rendered it, he started it, and now it's ready to bring in the finishing team. Oh yeah, that's me, yeah. In all traditional marriages, it's normally the husband who starts it, but the wife who finishes it. And again, this is the case in this one. So, no time like the present, I'm gonna get this painted.
as I'm going along and painting, it's really sweet. I've got two little helpers who are keeping me company. Just having a nice afternoon nap in the garden. Yesterday I had the fun job of painting the outside of the sheet. Um, finished painting, Nick managed to get all of the lights back up and the air source heat pump back on the wall. So, da -da 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 -da, here we go. Look at that, isn't that lovely and lighter and brighter? I think you could probably even see it from space, it's that bright. So it's a, a colour called stone and yeah, doesn't that just look smart? Now the last things to do to the jeet are path doo -doo -doo -doo, and patio for the jeet's independent garden terrace area. But everything's coming soon, Rome wasn't built in a day. However, you may notice on the wall there is a plaque. So there's a little bit of a story about this plaque. Gather round, gather round. And the person who this plaque is for is probably watching this, but may have drifted off to sleep. So I'm about to try and wake them up. Doris, Doris, wake up, are you watching? Good, now I have your attention, I will continue. So, it's been a while since I've said this. There's only the best for my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, lovely lady. It's her birthday this week. She's 83. Now, she will of course get some vastly overpriced flowers sent to her. But this is an added extra. A little while ago, my mother-in-law and father-in-law had a holiday home in Spain. I had it for many years. Lovely little holiday home and they called it Casa Isabella. Isabel was my mother-in-law's mother's name, but I think they called it Isabella because it just sounded quite nice with Casa, you know. Unfortunately, my mother and father-in-law they decided to sell Casa Isabella. And I know that my mother-in-law was quite sad about this. But mother-in-law, this one, this one's for you. Brownie points. So we have decided to name the Jeet. After months of calling it Jeet, Wash House, occasionally a few other words, <laughs> It is time. May I present to you, Shay Isabel. My mother-in-law's middle name and in honor of my mother-in-law, the sheet is now named. And as they say with boats, God bless her and all who sail in her. Although just a little note, mother-in-law, Terms and conditions do apply. You're not moving in. You've got two weeks maximum stay and paying guests come first. Thank you very much. Mic drop. <laughs> so a big happy birthday to my mother-in-law. Just remember, there's nothing but the best for you. this week's garden update look look at these wisteria 
Look at them, lovely in purple. Welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the, the week. week. Now, I've made a schoolgirl error. I've run out of champagne. Who am I? <laughs> if you know Claire, you know how much this is an error. However, what did you find? I found this in the cellar. <laughs> a bottle of Asti from uh, Italy. It's sweet, so we would normally drink dry champagne, but we'll see. Give it a go. I have found a way that you can probably make this better. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Nasty. <laughs> We don't know that yet. We're going to open it and give it a go. Yep. In the spirit of give things a charm. Well, what a week we have had here. <laughs> Haven't we, Jo? Yes. Celebrated our 17th wedding anniversary. Well done. We're about to uh, celebrate mother-in-law's birthday. Hi. <laughs> Three, four. Oh. <laughs> Here, dear, let me pour you a glass. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Just what Sundays are for. <laughs> it could be the only time I've not wanted to finish a bottle of something. Why are you giving me all of that? <laughs> Suppose it can be resurrected into Aperol spritzes, silver lining, everything. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button and if you've not already done so, please consider subscribing. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and also on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com Anyway, let's have a drink. Cheers. Cheers. And happy birthday, Mother. I'm going to donate that to an Aperol spritz. I think it will work perfectly when it's diluted with something else. <laughs> Hopefully. Thanks for watching. We'll see, see you next, next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>